Hello, everybody. Phenomenal, sir. Coming at you with more Firewatch. So, last time, we slept in for most of our first day of work. And then we had to go put a stop to some nudie firework drinking fun. And uh, we did that. We also stole a boombox and fireworks and whiskey. Because, you know. Anyway. <laughs> And then on our way back to our tower, we spotted a mysterious figure up on a cliff face shining a flashlight at us. Shortly thereafter, we arrived in the lookout tower, only to find that it had been ransacked, windows broken, food disheveled, sheets stolen, and, uh, yeah. And we went to bed or something. <laughs> so, anyway, let's jump back into it with more Firewatch, starting now. So, I do have to confess that you're going to have missed, like, about a 60-second period of day two. Because when it goes, it doesn't necessarily, like, auto-save at exactly... Backup. The backup is the two-day hike out of here. There. It doesn't exactly save, like, where it says day, like, the next day is beginning. Um... It, it did that, and then it, like, literally was, she was, Delilah was fussing at me to pick up the radio, and I couldn't pause to save the game until, um, until I had, like, stood up from my desk. So, essentially, we, we missed a little bit, but, um, the, the rundown is, I was sitting at my desk, staring at the, the broken glass, kind of shivering a little bit as the wind's blowing in, drinking coffee. Delilah called me, she said, wake up, that I'm awake. And she told me that the storm that came in last night uh, knocked down the phone lines. So she cannot call the rangers to let them know about what happened in the tower. And her radio is not getting any reception either. So um, essentially, she's not been able to report that I was that my, my tower was broken into. And that's where we are now. So that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Okay. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. All right, so my window's broken. Grab our stiff. And look at that, just a beautiful picture. So nice, okay. And I'm gonna do a little more exploring today. Um, now that it's like light out, I'm not worried people are going to burn the place down. We're going to kind of look around a bit, see what we can find. We did pass a couple of um, stashes that we can't open. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll do that. I set this. Can I, like, block the window with this upstairs? Hang on. Let's see. Probably not. That'd be funny if you can. I'll put this guy upstairs. He's going to help me. Uh, oh. Perfect! Look at that! Oh, first try. Okay, there we go. Yes. <laughs> Forest Burns. That's a terrible name for a mascot. Uh oh. What's this? Jonesy Lake. Okay. Um, that's where we were before. There was a stash down there, so we're gonna go back that way. Although I guess I can't get down there now, right? Because I have the I don't have the rope. A secret. Oh. Huh. 
Actually, no, really, what is this? Hmm. Long drop down. Do it. Snap your ankles. Day two. Workman's comp. Oh. Ruby River. 0.4 miles this way. Go check out the Ruby River. Or we could be distracted immediately. Two forts look out. Now this is saying Ruby River is this way. The hell? Or the Ruby River. You have to go right. Left was power. Come in. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean. What's life like? Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called The Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? I got a DUI, so... Oh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, not particularly proud of it well i mean look i oh, i haven't told anyone this but um i got one too five years ago yeah yeah god it was stupid it was so stupid but you know it's late it's winter the the streets are empty and, and you just you just want to get home totally oh so fucking dumb hey can you hold on a sec uh, sure uh -oh. i'm just gonna keep Hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Mm. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hmm. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I empathize with the DUI thing. Did your, um, girlfriend get mad, or whoever? You, you said we used to go to the bar. Ugh, oh, sorry, I'm the most awkward woman on Earth. <laughs> who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not hmm. freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Read. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Old toilet paper. But, importantly, not used. Oh, no, I missed. Oh. Okay, there we go. Main air. One chance to die. First book in Crime by the Numbers from the author of the best-selling Spectrum Spy series. Oh, I think I've got the second book in this series. Let's see. 
for the pine cone and food in here that apparently I'm not allowed to look at. Alrighty. Hmm. Good over here. Like big old nothing burger. Yum yum yum. Oh. Uh. -huh. Okay. Well, we got a cash at least. Got some cash. I've got trench foot marching back and forth through the mud. Okay. Maybe I'll need to go there later. I can't remember. Maybe that'll be a thing. You know what? Sir is a man of action. Confirmed. That I wanted to go to the Ruby River. I did it. Now I'm just going this way. Back the way I came with my unshakable sense of direction. <coughs> to the lake! Oh wait, this is the medicine wheel. Thank you. That, that looks like the medicine wheel. I didn't get to see this before, but I know a medicine wheel when I see it. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Okay. Is that the only thing out here? Is that the end? Hang on. Do that. Yeah. Alright. I guess I gotta just that away yeah okay yeah so I'm gonna just I guess in theory I should have just gone the other the other way like gone back the way I came to get to the tower at the end of the day yesterday so I'm gonna go this way just kind of backtrack see if there's anything I missed um, and uh, it was just um, and then I'll uh, open those ashes I missed. Before. Y'all didn't know I'm a little bit of an achievement hound. Oh, but I guess I can't. Can I? Yeah. I'm at the shale slide. I, I can't climb down from here without a rope. Um, you shouldn't need a rope where you're headed. The climb through the canyon has its dangerous bits, but you should be able I to forgot about down that. here. Which way is the canyon again? It's just north of your tower. Okay. I guess we are going to go back the way I came. Anyway, I was going to say I'd be able to check those caches. Um, there's a couple of achievements that I didn't get in this game the last time I played it. And, you know, I am a little bit of an achievement hound, as I was starting to say before I got distracted. So, very much enjoy. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear-proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Is it? Is this, this flimsy wood bear-proof? Okay, I'm eating this. This is mine now. Um. Okay, yeah, that's bear proof. <laughs> anyway, more achievements. I want them. <laughs> oh, no human person could fit through that gap. Alright, there's the outhouse. Hang it. So, yep, that's normal. Hmm. Oh, please don't just jump. Oh, that was the. Hmm. 
Okay. More badass than I am. Yes. See, this just feels like I'm going to fight the moonlight butterfly now. Winding path going back and forth from Dark Souls. <laughs> And there's the cave. Okay. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but mm. maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, mm. This one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Hmm. I thought that was the way I was supposed to go. Okay. Hey, wait. Oh my goodness. There we go. Boom, baby. Oh, no, I wanted the thingy. Okay. Copy information. And I got a flashlight. Aww. Ah! Thank you. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Uh-oh. X to toggle jogging. <laughs> toggle jog. Jog toggle. Toggle! Alright. So I think this is the way we went to get to the lake. So I hung a left out of the cave and I'm passing through Thunder Canyon now. I'm not seeing any wires in here. Oh, no, 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 no. It sounds like you turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Look, from the cave, you just want to come out and go straight to the north. Got it. I'm not doing that yet. Going back to steal more supplies. And honestly, I should probably check to see if those campers uh, cleared out yet because, you know... They were drunk and it was getting dark and they were in a lake and there was a storm coming and I stole their radio, which would have been able to scare away bears, but you know, they no longer had it, so, ah. Guess I'm the baddie. <laughs> Am I the baddie? <laughs> go here we go baby fat loot one two three four boom no fireworks <laughs> thank you Got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish, and Profesionales. 
Good to know. Old sweater. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Mm. Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Hmm. The Fourth Estate. Murder by the Numbers. Richard Sturgeon. Yep. Fourth entry in the Neo Black series. Red Panda Crime. That's just a raccoon. Could collect the books. Oh well. I am a sucker for collectibles. <laughs> in in video games. Take a pretty a pretty mid game and give me a good collection me mechanic that's like actually fun and I will I will sing its praises. All right. Okay, so we gotta head back the way we came. And then go straight from the cave. <sighs> Try to avoid jumping and climbing as much as I can. It just blows me up. But you'll be fine. Dead running next to the creek. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to get north. Well, face west and then turn right. <laughs> The rising sun on your right hand side, you'll be fine. Alright, so I guess we're going this way now. Gap in the brush. Crunch. There we go. Hmm. Oh, Keep thinking I see stuff. This is not a horror game. Calm it down. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Dead trees. Green fire risk. Oh, there's some power lines. Okay. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. You're gonna be like chopped down, like somebody chopped it down with an axe or something. Hmm. Fair fire lookout. Okay. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Okay. Oh. Well. Trying to let me okay. Uh hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean uh, I'm in the right area. Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow mm. it up to the point that I mentioned. Mm. 
wonder if I could take some of these planks to like board up my window. I mean, I did I did shove the mascot in there, but I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, a house couldn't possibly go horribly wrong. Check it out. A supply cache. An old one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Hmm. I don't know. I don't... Mm, you can put it on. I don't think I'm going to put it on. That's... I don't like that. I don't like... I don't like that they give you the option to do that. I don't know why I don't like that, but it's just... Ah! Room with a view. Roid guitar. Burn bed. I had a nice little setup. A little burn down. A little window. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Go through here? I can go through. Oh, I can't go through. Damn. They give us and they take it away. So, we gotta head north. We're gonna keep going this way. Just an abandoned, abandoned, uh, lookout. Goodies? Any baddies? All in this? Oh. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd oh, rather yep, it not come Oh, yep, there it goes. That. There it is. There's the break. Alrighty. Report that in a second. One, two, three. Hmm. What am I trying to look at? Grizzly murder, not a not a grizzly G R I L S L Y. Somebody murdered a grizzly bear. Hmm. Hey yo, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know, amigos profesionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Hmm. Huh. 
Pine cat. I'm gonna take this just in case. Oh, close this. And then I'm gonna take this. <laughs> oh well. I don't think one board would be enough. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Uh, I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Mm. Shut up. All right. So how am I going to report this? How do I get up there? Obviously, I can't see from here that it's down. Right? Can't confirm. Try to get up there. Thought this would be it, but I guess... Play. Like, legit, just follow the lines? Okay. Hmm. Mm, mm. Flying grass. All right. I skipped that whole little section over there. We got cash three oh two. All right. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Hmm. Just like walking along, just chugging and chugging and continuing, chugging and continuing. Report there. No, if there's too much slack or not enough slack in that line. Uh, yeah. Okay, the wires down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start a by hiking race. back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. All right. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they yeah. looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Over this. So, what's over this? What's over here? <laughs> Let's see. Where am I? I don't even know where I am on this map. Oh, here I am. Cut com wire. Alright. I don't think that's... Um, ba -dum -bum. Ooh, ooh, uh. 
Bum ba dum bum. Ooh ah ooh ah. Jump. Crunch. Every time I do that, I can feel like the the shock going up my ankles. You know, just even from being a kid, you like you're like playing, you like jump off a shed roof or whatever, and you hit the ground, and you get that shock that goes through your through your ankles. Ugh. La Pelle de Vide. 60 feet to the supply drop. Let me guess, they opened it and put a dump in it. Mm. 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 Nothing. Supply. Here we go. Is this the right way? I don't know. But it's where I'm gonna go. Maybe not. Actually. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Womp. Man. He is not interested in looking at you up close. Ooh, oh, the backpack. This. Is this. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, mm. you could always pilfer it for supplies. Some rope, perhaps? Brian Goodwin. Oh. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. <laughs> with pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Mm. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Hmm. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay. Can I please? <laughs> there we go. Oh. Is that a supply clash? 
Surely it's an old one, not one that I've not found already. <laughs> it's grunt. Oh, I think I see a lock on it. How do I get down? Down! Oh my god. Am I stuck? Help me. That bro. No, like I'm for real just stuck here. Why can't I drop down here? What? Oh, duh! Because <laughs> there's another rub spot, you dummy. Seems unnecessary, but okay. <laughs> there we go. Yep. One. Four. Ta da! Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Rock, all right. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Mm. Can't keep it? I'd keep it. I'd keep the hell out of it. All right. And I gotta read the note. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LO, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Okay. Two miles to two forks. Jonesy Lake. We're gonna head back to the lake. Oh, fence. AKA a challenge. Hey, uh, Delilah. What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Mm. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's... Biologists, you know? <clears throat> well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. <laughs> What's a, a lichen? lichen? <laughs> well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few she days. She doesn't know? Oh my god, okay. It's not letting me, uh... Not let me ask her about this U.S. code. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's Why? really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hey, you remember that guy from yesterday? The guy I saw hiking home? The sheet thief. Yeah, that guy. Go on. Maybe he was from the fence place. Hmm, from the land of the fence. From the fence place. Yes. This you is, I mean, I'll the way he out. climbs, you like... Might be on to something. The way he climbs freaking cliffs, he could get over this fence. Dude man could definitely get over this fence. 
He just has no natural curiosity. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Oh, God, oh, God, God no. Is. Okay. Whew. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. We don't really need to talk about this stuff, right? Well, what would you prefer? Uh, literally anything. Do you want to know about the homeopathic remedy for yeast infections I came up with last summer? From this burned section of forest, I have no <laughs> idea where to go. The trail is pretty cold at this point. Okay, <laughs> never mind. You're lost, pal. <laughs> Just like, yeah, so anyway, there's there's a section that's burned here. I don't know where to go. Flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. You want me to go back and see what I can do? No. I want this guy to have to roll his lazy ass all the way out here. It, flapjack is a choice phrase, by the way. It really fits the bill in this case. Hmm. So. We got a rope spot there. There. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna drop a rope at both spots. In case they're needed in the future. <clears throat> Figure out my life enough to get down here. Drop it onto an incline! Oh. Man is a maniac. Oh, it just saved. What have I done? Alright, so this goes down into Thunder Canyon. Right? Okay, so it would mark those. So it's got those two. Where they're like one after the other, and they're marked. Um, okay, so that one's there. And then this loops back to the cave. This will put us closer to the cave. So I'll go back. You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. I mean, I assume you went through a breakup. At least that's my best guess at this stage. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Alrighty. Now that path's open. But... Oh, there was a second one over there. Oh, how did I miss that before? Did I just... Okay, well, I'm going back then. That's weird. I swear I looked at that. Okay. Well. I'm the rope master. I will 
do all the rope things. Crunch. Ankles are going to look like grapefruits. All right. Wrap <laughs> Over heat. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Hmm. So this just... Puts me over there. Yeah, let's try it. Commented on it. It might be important. Oh, 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 oh the camera. Uh oh. Got some music there. What was that? What happened? past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Mm. All right, so that's cache 306, which we've already done. And now, all paths lead to the pond. So let's go this way. Then, do you see that? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke. Yeah, looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake, towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give him hell. Hmm. A little green fog cloud, like localized cloud there. It was strange. Hmm. She's like they couldn't possibly be have? where they were. She's got Alzheimer's, like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. Hence the drinking and the DUI. Yeah. It's okay. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. <laughs> Alrighty, and then we've got find the teens. 
This leads down to Five Mile Creek, which is the completely wrong way. I think. But, you know, these paths aren't going to explore themselves, so let's... <laughs> these supply caches aren't going to plunder themselves, is what I should have said. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning my way around. That's all. Alright, so we're gonna head down here. See what we can find. Put in the pen. Right is right. Link up with me. Ta da Oh. Missing person. Thought it looks like me. Mitch Michael. That guy looks hmm. Age 31, 6'2. 6 6'2, 2, 165 pounds. That man was a rail. Ugh, 165 pounds, sorry. Still, still a rail. Mitch Michaels last seen around Jonesy Lake, July 3rd, 1981. Reported missing, July 29th. Not known to be familiar with the area. Okay. Take that. Pine cones and firewood. Cool. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Yeah, like Pando. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Yeah, there's a uh, there's a quaking a quaking aspen I think is the species called pando that is like it covers like hundreds of acres. Um, so how'd you meet? Which of course you know it's it's been alive for like two million years and uh, met in a bar. It's it's gonna it's gonna Birth be destroyed by. Human interference. I walked over her. and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. Oh, I was brave. drunk. I was drunk. <laughs> My chair's stuck. Anyway, here we go. Uh, Pando, please. I'm not even going anywhere special. I am not. I need to go back the other way. There's like a campsite right here. Follow the water, I reckon. I thought that was a dude standing up there, but it's just a tree way off in the distance. waterfall down here given those girls love a skinny dipping I bet they're nearby oh maybe I am in the right so where's the camp where's the plume of smoke did I go the right way by accident okay uh, there's some cloth out here it looks like it was torn from something strange I'll keep looking around hmm
I was intentionally trying to go the wrong way. Ugh. Damn gamer instinct. Maybe this is someone else's. Hope it's not the missing guy that I like just found the poster for. Nope, oh, those are my sheep. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Hmm. I'd like to stomp this out, please. I won't let me stomp this out, please. There we go. Teen zone. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. <laughs> the tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Okay. and happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like... I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's its okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Oh, and that's day three. All right, so let's let's wait until we can actually save. Oh, oh, we're patching the window. All right, so that was day three. We're gonna save, and we're gonna call it here. All right, the plot is thickening. I'm a little confused because I was supposed to be heading towards that smoke, and then the smoke just kind of like stopped being a thing, and I thought that I was going. In the wrong direction. Sorry, I'm messing with the chair. There we go. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Wow, another another hour. Wow, these these days are much longer than they feel like. Mm. Well, um, yeah, the plot's thickening. Uh, we got a mysterious fence. We got some people. They said that their stuff got stolen, 
And I, I noticed, I was looking, there was the rock that was like, it was like, go to hell, Ranger, or something, like where the wires were cut. And it looked like their underwear was on the rock. So maybe the person who cut the wire was not the teenagers. Maybe that was somebody else. Same person that attacked their camp. In any case, um, that's it for here. That's it for now. Uh, as always, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you're enjoying it, if there's more stuff like this that you'd like to see me try out in the future. And, of course, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. That little affirmative stuff that makes me feel good inside. Uh, until next time, stay healthy, stay safe out there, y'all. Later.